Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. I hope all is well and thank you so much for the love and support. I hope you had a good turkey day. And for new people that are coming in, if you have been watching my videos for a while, if you have not, welcome. But if you've been watching for a while and you have not already, please drop a line. I would love to check to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and you know if you find out that you know the video is really something that, that gave you a good vibe or insight that you truly needed please give a thumbs up and share and so much love light protection and uplift towards your way and a lot of love so anybody who's coming in with nefarious vibrations low frequency or whatever you're trying to block destroy you know distort whatever out there mess coming back towards you 120 times fold so, anyways, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you're a straight collective. Um, all sent in your way to either hurt or hinder is being yeeted right back and turned to sender. It is. You know, there are so many different things that's going on right now where you're going through intense ascension. Uh, ascension. Uh, what is it? Uh, changes, Kundalini, Black Knight of the Soul. I said Black Knight of the Soul. <laughs> Dark Knight of the Soul. Even if it's psychic flus, um, spiritual flus, you know, you, you're going through it all. You know, hot and cold flashes, you need to take more showers than you usually do. You're more thirsty, you feel yourself as being more lethargic or whatever. You're going through a lot of changes. The vi you know, your, your, vi your, so your videos, your dreams are being more vivid. You know, you're getting more downloads, you know, high-pitched uh, humming humming noises. Even the ringing in the ears is getting really intense. You know, um, if you're, you're, you know, whatever spiritual uh, gifts that you have is really being um, intense right now for all of the different things that's going on. You know, if you know, or a lot of them are being switched on. Because a lot of times it's like the gifts you already know you have or not even aware. You'll start noticing things that you're very 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 sensitive on so these are the different things that might be taking place you know in your life you know you, you can be very sensitive about things you, you're starting to read more of energy even when people don't say nothing you have reading the heck out of it it don't matter what it is or you know you can even see people's intentions when they come past you you know people that you know and it's, it's being like a silent trigger that a lot of people are getting aggravated but there's a lot of people right now they're going through different changes you know you may be you know bumping heads more with your karmics you may be understanding you you know you can be able to back up and really see the good things that's coming out of your connections even with low vibrational people as well as high vibrational people they're all a part of the plan you know a lot of times we don't understand it, it can really get on our nerves but we've got to keep reminding ourselves even the enemies are a part of our plan of growth they are helping us boss up even when they don't realize or care to admit it they're doing these different things that's taking place. And it's like right now where it keeps coming in, where they're telling you, don't worry about anything that is sent your way to hurt you, you know, take you out of existence, you know, trying to block blessings and stuff like that is not going to happen. Everything that is taking place right now, like if... If you are a person that you're moving in good karma, like you have dharma coming up for you, back to back to back to back. These things cannot be delayed. These are the different things that cannot be blocked and stuff like that. No matter what people are doing, these are still going to be for you. They, they, they can't do it, you know, no matter what they're doing. Because there's a lot of people that are really are going out their way to try to distort you. Or trying to place you in illusional time loops like they really want to keep you there there'll be different times where you can see that um, there's different people like with my situation you know if you've been watching my videos it's like I'm not gonna go into a long-winded situation if you want to know hey look at the different one that I just put in last where you'll see like it'll be like a ghoulish thing that was you know where it's trying to control the girls <laughs> you know levitation that's why I say just go to that one you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but um It'll be different things that's going on in your life where it can be very, really challenging. It's like where my situation is very challenging. But then when I allow myself to really look back, if I'd never gone through these different things, I wouldn't really understand how deep is it is it for me to know myself, know thyself, you know, so within, so without, you know, so above, so with low, you know, so below. And these are the different things that's happened in my life where it's really showing me who I am. 
you know, the different things that's taking place into my life that is truly beneficial, even though there's a lot of things that I'm going through that's very traumatic in my life that people keep on wanting to place on me. But these are the different things that's also is showing me, you know, if these things were really able to get towards me in that way, it's taught me a lot. Even if it was something where people are trying to put death spells on me, they put vanity spells on me, confidence spells on me, they're doing mirror magic, fire magic, skyring, and all those different things, sending spirit spies and all that other stuff. But it's being able to show me no matter what people are placing on me, it's helping me grow, it's helping me boss up. And these are the different things. So I really am grateful for all the downfalls that people have put in my life because it really showed me the uphill of the different things that's taking place in my life that can really shake up. You have to be able to see that within your life. You know, these are the different things that's helping you grow. These are the different things where it's telling you, you know, if something's going on in your life where it's making you lose focus to what's important into your life is showing you let that go you know I have to be able to tell myself and stuff like that because there's so many different things in my life where people are doing really hateful things to me and it had to be at that point where they cannot stop nothing is meant for when God has something for you it's meant for you it's gonna stay meant for you you can't miss that no matter what people are doing it cannot be missed okay so anything that's taking place into your life it is it is like if it's not meant for something that's going to give you peace, joy, love, some kind of prosperity. It's a distraction. People are sending a whole lot of distractions your way. There's a lot of different things that people may be doing to you. Where they're putting, you know, placing you in spiritual warfare. And not realizing that spiritual warfare is only making you boss up. It's all making you boss up. There's different things that's going into your life where it's telling you to stand your ground. You know, and I had to be at that point where, you know, I've told different things where, you know, if, when you're in your peace, it's going to trigger a lot of people that don't want to grow, don't want to heal. These are different things that's taking place into your life where, you know, everything that's going on into your life is a growth, is a part of a growth experience. The d different things is taking on. Hold on, y'all. I don't think I closed my bathroom all, uh, uh, all the way. So hold on just a second. No, I'm back. But anyways, you're going through different things into your life where it's really going to be a challenge to you. But these are the different things that's taking place that's supposed to be a beneficial to you. And a lot of times if it's coming in to really take you off balance or really shake you up, it's something that's going to take you towards that next level. You have to be able to see it that way. If you're seeing it like, oh my God, this is a negative situation. And it could be. It could be sent like something that's being a distraction. This is something that's going to really make you power up. Are you going to allow yourself to lose focus on what's truly important into your life? Or are you going to allow yourself to, you know, stay focused on what's important? These are the different things that's coming in as a distraction. Anything that's coming into your life that is going to be something you never imagined or or something you seem like tag you know no matter what I do you know I keep being positive I keep doing the things I'm doing you know keep pushing out love and light you know doing my affirmations doing you know uh what is it my mantras and all this stuff I'm meditating and stuff like that why does it always have to be hard why do I always have enemies just trying to get in that way because they don't want to see you happy if they know they're not going to be a part of that blessing they'll do any and everything to shake that up but you have to understand your your enemies as well as the people that are sent into your life to encourage you you know is going to admire you you know appreciate the things that you're doing they're all a part of what your growth is to get towards that next level you can't have some kind of you know, uh, you know, some kind of, you know, action going on into your life to where you're going to go straight towards your blessing. You're not going to be able to benefit off of it. You're not going to be appreciative of these different things, you know, and I always tell you, you know, it, it's just like when people see that they, that you have that that go-getter type vibration into your life when you're on that thing like I'm not going to let nothing stop me I'm not going to let allow anything to get in my way I'm going to cut off any and everything that's no longer serving me anything that's going to hold me back you know you have to be able to understand there's a lot of times we don't put people in the wrong categories you know I, I know I did it I know a lot of people have done it too but it's at that point now where I stand my ground, I say what I need to say, you know, not allowing people, even the most obvious things that take place in my life, I have to be able to just like, okay, you take a mental note, okay, take a mental note, you already know what's taking place, you know, you got people eavesdropping, you got people trying to block blessings, trying to have people wanting you to self-sabotage, if they can't sabotage, they want you to self-sabotage, You, that's what they're going to do, you know, you have to be able to understand that, 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 that they're a part of that plan. 
your part of your growth. You know, these are the different things that's going on. But it's like so much stuff is coming out right now to where whatever people are doing, where it's like death spells, you know, vanity spells, anything like that is backfiring left and right, left and right, left and right, because they keep telling them, focus on you. Stop trying to do things to hurt other people because it's not going to work. It's only going to come right back on you. And if it gets to that point where every time you keep on trying to wish the worst on that person, it's only going to create their own fate for the person to keep sending it out because it's all being returned to sender. People keep going towards these, you know, these different moons where they're so powerful and they're thinking, oh, you know, I can be able to put a death spell or, oh, I can be able to take their energy or take their, you know, take their, their gifts. You can't take anybody's gifts if you didn't want the ones that gave it to them. You know, this is the person that they anointed for that person. So you can't take anything that wasn't being gifted by you. This is gifted by God. This is the person who did that. You cannot overpower God. And I see a lot of people that keep on thinking that. So it's just at that point, all these different things that you're planning is being sabotaged. And it's not happening. You're trying to understand why it's not working. Because it's not supposed to work. Anything that's going on into your life that you're trying to get to. It's something you're going to have to work for. Like all this energy you're putting on. You know, I see different people that put so much energy on the wrong stuff. You can be putting that same energy on healing yourself. Trying to understand why am I so toxic towards other people? Why do I keep putting fear on other people? Why do I keep hurting people by trying to empower myself? Because I get off on saying, okay, my, my myself is like this. So I want to hurt other people because this makes me feel good. You have to understand why. Where, where did the seed come from? Where did it begin at? You have to go exactly where it began for you to be wanting to do this. You're targeting out other people. Maybe it could be mommy issues. Issues, daddy issues, neglect, abandonment issues, or you were touched as a child. Certain things like that. These are the different things that's taking place into your life where you can choose. You know how that made you feel when it happened to you. Why you want to put that on somebody else. This is something where you have to go. And I, I've, I've been in all those situations. And I had to be able to say, I had abandonment issues. I had neglect issues. I had mommy issues. I had daddy issues. I had to fix that. I fixed that every day. I had narcissistic traits. I had abandonment issues. Or, or I had toxicity where I was placing out on other people. I had to be able to do that. And for me to be able to do that. I had to be able to be honest with myself. I had these issues. If I want to be able to be real and be able to fix this, first you have to be honest with yourself. You can lie to everybody. You know, when you lie to everybody, you're lying to yourself as well. I had to be able to do that with myself too. You want to tell the truth. I always speak on the truth in here. You know, anytime... You know, there's different things that I said, you know, like I told y'all, you know, I had people want to trigger me about different things, you know, eavesdrop, do it, whatever, whatever, you know, I always like, I would not say anything because I already know that's what they were looking for, for a reaction out of me. It's like, no, you know, because I felt like if I, if I say something, it's, it's going to be an argument and it's like, no, you can say something and speak your mind and stand your ground and speak in your power. You don't have to argue with somebody just because that's what their intention is. That don't mean that has to be your intention. You can say what you need to say and do what you need to do and go on about your business. It don't have to be about that, but you automatically know when you're dealing with people like that, you already know what, what, what their point is, what why they're doing it. You know, whether they want to admit it or not, you know what's taking place into their life. Anybody who is in a unhappy situation wants to make other people unhappy. If anybody is not going off and enabling the things that they're used to being enabled by and it challenges them, they're going to always go against you. You have to understand that. But you're knowing. I look at my situation and I say I appreciate that because it also showed me if I don't do what I need to do and I keep doing things like them, you see what happens when you keep living like that. You keep living through misery. You keep adding towards your life that you're depleting yourself instead of actually having a total gain or different things where you felt like, oh, I'm going to be able to steal this from that person and this is going to be able to happen and this is going to be good. And then, you know, universe say, no, that's not going to happen. But this is what's going to happen to you. And it's keep depleting, depleting, depleting. Now it gets to that point where... It, if it keeps happening and they're telling you, hey, go heal. Hey, go mind your business. Hey, go focus on your growth. Focus on your healing. Be honest with yourself. Let go. Move forward. Stop. You, you change focus on what's truly important, which is your life, not somebody else's life. And you keep doing that. All of this is going to wipe you out of your own existence because you kept focusing on somebody's life that had nothing to do with you. And now this is what's taking place in, in the world right now. 
So if there's different things that people are trying to place on you and they're trying to understand why are these spells not working, it's not going to work. Because they're telling you anything that you're trying to steal from that person or you're trying to block from that person, you're not going to be able to do it. But if there's something you want in your life, you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to earn it just like they're doing. You know, anything that you're working for right now, you already know you had to go to hell and high water and probably have frequent flyer miles. <laughs> and that you're going constantly through that because of those different things. And for that, you're going to see a lot of different changes that took place in your life. You may not have been grateful for it for it then because I wasn't. When I was going through all those things, I'm still going through it. But then I'm allowing myself to see. I'm changing focus on where my focus needs to be at. I learned my lesson, so I had to be able to let that go. Wherever my focus is, it's on focus on what I want in my life, not what I'm trying to get away from, you know. And those are the different things that's taking place into your life. So you know that you are protected. Anything that comes into your life, there's going to be a shake up is supposed to teach you something. It's going to allow you to challenge the change. You know, if you don't have any challenges into your life, anything that you earn into your life is supposed to be seen as a blessing. You're not going to really love it the way it is. You're not going to really want to nurture it for that. So if you know something is very hard for you to get to and you already know you had to go through blood, sweat, and tears. You had to cut off a lot of people. You had to be able to change the way you went about things. You had to sacrifice a lot of things. You had to let go of a lot of things. You had to change your focus on different things that had to be in your life. You had to even speak different about your life. Speak different on other people's lives you know and these are the things that's going on so when you finally did get that you want to understand I appreciate everything that went on in my life and you're going to understand you needed those people that was going to be admiring towards you be very encouraging uplift you in every kind of way but you're also going to need those people that you know downed you made you think that good things could never come into your life kept on blocking you trying to do everything they could to discourage you or try to sabotage you you know, and even you sabotaging yourself. You know, a lot of times we have to go through setbacks, mishaps, you know, um, delays and different stuff like that. Just so we can be able to appreciate what is coming into our lives. Anytime you know you're up for the challenge, and a lot of times those challenges, God knows, universe knows, it can get on your last dag on nerves. It can but it's like when these are the different things that you know, this is what I want in life. And when you made that decision, that's when they were like, oh, okay, where if you made this decision where you want better in your life, you want to be able to be around better, you want to be able to marry better, you want to be able to step up and better, speak better, whatever. We're going to challenge you on that and make sure this is, does this what you, is this what you really want? These are the different things that you really want in your life. Let me see how hard you're going to go in for it. You know, let me see how much you're going to approve for it. And those are the different things that's going to take place into your life where you're going to be able to appreciate everything that's going on. Because just like I told you all in the other video, you know, your enemies, they're a part of your life. You know, your people that, you know, just give you that rah, rah, be like, man, you know, they encourage you. It's like, man, keep on doing what you're doing. You know, I love the, you know, I love the controversy I get as well as the encouragement I get on myself because it's like, if I'm not doing something healthy, productive, or being able to speak out into something beautiful and positive, and people don't have their negative say on it, that lets me know I'm not doing something really good. Because if you don't have people trying to discourage you from it, or trying to sabotage it in certain kind of ways and challenge you on it, that means you're not doing something that's, that's really going to speak out on something. And I always tell people, if any time somebody, you know, like you doing a platform like me, if you don't have people that's giving you a thumbs down and stuff like that, even you doing something positive, Positive and you're still getting a thumbs down it doesn't trigger something in somebody's way that they don't want to be able to deal with and that's all it is you know it's just be like you know or there'll be different people that's going to give you that encouragement or even if you you know you're doing a platform and you're not really getting the views yet don't don't allow yourself to count yourself out it's just that you ain't been seen yet a lot of times you'll be placed in that shadow for a minute because we want to see how hard you're going to go for it. Because there's a lot of times where I, I don't tell people. There will be different things to where I felt like it was so hard. That wasn't meant for me. <laughs> it just wasn't meant for me. You know, so I had to be able to, you know, I, I would give up on stuff. This is the first time I actually went on something. And I stayed on it for a long time. Even when I felt like that, I should have been out. But then I knew there was a lot of different things where people were trying to block stuff that I was doing. Because they didn't want it to come out. And now it's just like, now it's starting to, you know, get out there. There's a lot of different people that are, you know, coming to me and telling me, hey, I really like your videos. It has helped me a lot. Or it explains a lot of different things that I go through. But it's like everything that we're going through at this time right now was well, been like that. But it's being more prominent. It's being more potent. 
where it's just like anything that's coming at you to hurt you, hinder you, distract you, delay you, it is going right back to that person it, it did it. So even you have to be careful what you send out towards other people because you don't want that on your life. It'll be different times where it'll be certain people in my life where if I say, oh, I wish to be, mm-mm, just let them go. Because <laughs> they, they, they no. Don't wish that on them. Just let them go. Forgive them and let them go. That's all you need to do. And that's what you need to do, especially if people are just on that, where they're just adamant on doing it. Forgive them and let them go. God going to handle the rest. universe has been handling the rest for them anyway. But it's just to know anything that comes into your contact is going to make you a better person. It's going to challenge you to either go into a different direction. You know, allowing yourself to see, are, are you still focused on the different things? Because, you know, I, I've been like that and I had to be able to let that go. You already know God handling that. Let that go. Stay focused on what's important into your life. You know, what, what matters to you in your life. If that don't matter to you, it shouldn't mind. If it shouldn't mind, it shouldn't matter. <laughs> You know, I had to be on that. So I hope you were able to resonate with that. I hope y'all had a good turkey day and, you know, doing all you need to do and, you know, enjoying yourself and, you know, be able to get all that good food and trying to wear it off now. You know, I'm gaining a couple of pounds. I know I did. It was so big. <laughs> well, I still feel good about it. But, um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Brian, uh, Brian Dodry. Much love to you as well. Thank you for, you know, all the way from Scotland. And um, Timberwolf, as always, much love, sis. Um, and Dusty Rhymes, much love to you, East Libidich. So, um, what else? Oh, yeah, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's all about spiritual networking. Um, being able to give you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose, you know, trying to understand why things happen the way they did. You know, universe usually helps me out with me helping other people out. So I try my best, try the best I can to be able to assist with that. Whatever we speak on is confidential and, you know, be able to give the next steps to that. You know, if you've been on my, my page for a long time, you know, the community section of my channel it also has, you know, my um, podcast. I haven't put none on there, but I'm about to do that uh, pretty soon. Get those started back up as well as different posts, you know, different things that make you laugh, just give you encouragement, or different changes that are maybe taking place out right now um, for you to be able to look out for in case different, you know, things may be going. Like I said, you're probably going through a lot of different things where everything is heightened up with you right now, either gifts which is popping on or the gifts you already have have intensified, you know, you're going through different temperatures, maybe cold one minute, you're hot the next, you know, you may be upset the next minute, depressed the next one ready to battle it out with somebody or just feeling you know love and light you know you're going through a whole bunch of different things where you don't even know where your personality is going it's just all in you know topsy-turvy so i just don't know but i'm giving you love and blessings for all that that's taking place so um you know uh giving you all whatever vibes you're truly needing at this point right now you know don't give up on your dreams you know keep on going anything that is worth bringing into the world that you have never imagined you have to stay persistent and consistent if you got to take a break that's understandable do that but you get right back on that horse 10 times stronger than you did when you fell off so you stay on that because you do have a place in this world to make a purpose of infinite change that's truly needed it only takes one person it can go you know viral if you even have faith of a mustard seed just think about what you can do with your love and kindness and knowledge that you're really pushing out towards the world we really need that and if you you know if you're feeling generous enough to drop a donation cash app is at the bottom as well in the description box below the video and you know send out love light positivity birth vibe frequency during the times of you know social distancing you know just for you doing that can take a lot you know take a person a long way just for you doing that just for positive vibrations and intentions takes you even further so i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do happy holidays much love to you shalom i say peace namaste love